this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the milling process. Uh, I'm dividing this video into three segments. Uh, one, I'm going to show the bits that I use here at the demo center. And number two, I'm going to show some options, the milling options that I use in the iCAD software. And third, I'm going to show some milling with MDF. So first, uh, let me show you the type of bits that I use. Uh, foremost, there are two types of bits. Uh, one are acrylic bits, the other one are multipurpose bits. Uh, so if you see, this is an example of an acrylic bit. And in principle, uh, the surface of the acrylic bit is super sharp. The other mostly used bit is the multi-purpose bit and again the main difference between multi-purpose and acrylic is that the top surface has a small notch which goes and does the milling. You have special bits for milling uh, ACP, ACM materials which are the carbon coated multipurpose bit you can see a blackish color now that's a carbon coated and uh, they are ends with C1 so they are coated bits one more major classification of the bits is whether it's a upcut bit or it's a downcut bit uh, here it says AD which is a downcut bit Mostly upcut bits are used. Uh, the main funda about this is uh, when the bits are rotating clockwise, uh, as you can see in this case, when the bit rotates, uh, the direction of the spine is going up. Uh, so in, in down cut, it goes down. In up cut, it goes up. So when we use most of the jobs I use upcut uh, one day when I paste vinyl on rigid materials and do not want to lift that off I use uh, downcut bits that is A, B bits downcut bits uh, there are some special bits also I would like to show one of them is the acrylic etching bit this is the etching bit you can see the etching that's happening the other special bit that I use is a, a folding bit now in case of ACP ACM aluminium composite when you want to fold then actually use the um, folding bit for this purpose so Overall, these are the bits that I use. Uh, the next phase in this is uh, seeing what are all the options that are there for the milling setup. So this is IPC. Uh, it's pretty much the same as I cut. So I add a new layer. Uh, most of them, uh, they belong to the cut layer. And so I'm choosing the HP milling tool and immediately I'll get all the options that are related to the milling. Now the first thing is registration type. Uh, I use full compensation and register curve mostly. Full compensation for the sign and display industry uh, where there is uh, a shape like this. But there's no definition of the exact size to be got and all. Uh, based on the print, if you want to register, then uh, it's full compensation. The other type of uh, registration is register curve. Now I get uh, complaints from uh, some of the existing customers uh, that when they cut circles, some of them are circles, but some of them they are slightly elongated. They are not exact circles. Now the reason for this is this. Uh, it's because when they cut using the full compensation for defined shapes like a circle 
then it will compensate and elongate the shape based on the other images. Now what I do is when I have a uh, job which contains images like this and fixed posters for instance which have to be circular in shape, for this layer I give full compensation and for this layers I give register curve. Register curve will make sure that the integrity of the shape, in this case a circle, is maintained. Now the next step in this is the speed and the acceleration. Now we have fixed guidelines from the factory on what speed acceleration to be run for standard materials based on the thickness and based on the type of bit that is used. Now the other option is depth. So herein, if you want a through cut, you enter zero. Suppose you want to lift the entire milling up, then you enter the value. Let's say I want to lift it up, leave 3 mm of material behind, so I say minus 3. This is an interesting feature that's been introduced in IPC. For jobs which have multiple milling operations, when you give stop a tool select and you give a message, What will happen is before this layer is executed, the milling unit stops. You will get a message here prompting you to change the bit and then it starts back from the location. So that is stop at tool select which is used when you have more than one type of milling bit engaged in an operation. Now the spindle RPM is being given by the factory. And this is interesting. This truly gives you variety in the type of milling. There are four types of tool offset. Outside, inside, washout and center line. Now the way the user sets this tool offset is a way that the bit will move with reference to the geometry. Now, I'm going to do a couple of shapes post this to describe each of these options tool diameter you have to enter what is the diameter that you are using of the bit if there are any small curves by mistake which have come you can use the option of washout which can wash out small curves and uh, suppose you have a thicker material like in case of 11 mm what we request is uh, use multiple passes so when I enter 6 mm and the material thickness is 11 mm, the bit first goes through 6 mm and then the next 5 mm it goes in the second pass. Now IPC has this new feature called measure by which it will measure the thickness of the material automatically. The user does not need to enter. Web thickness is uh, suppose you have a backing for a rigid material like a vinyl at the back just for backing up you give that value such that it will leave that amount and mill through the rest finishing pass offset is when you have multiple passes uh, you can give one more small pass to just clean up the surface and to make sure the dust are all collected well now if you are having holes in the layer you could use drill holes option so these are the various options that are pertaining to the milling. show you how each of the tool offset works. Can you come closer and focus on this? Okay, I've got the geometry of a square outside and a circle inside. Now for the same geometry, 
I'm going to mimic how the bit goes when the type of milling is outside, type of milling is inside, when it is center line, or what happens when you give the washout option. Okay, let's go to the outside. Now, when I do milling tool offset outside, the bit goes outside the geometry and mills. Now what happens with this is after it mills and if I take the circle out, the dimension of the circle is exactly 120 as indicated here. You can see the milling bit goes outside such that the finished product which is the circle is exactly 120. Let's move on to milling inside. Milling inside is used when the customer in this case needs a hollow portion with the square. So for him the hollow portions diameter must be 120. So what happens when I give milling inside is the bit, can you focus more? The bit moves inside the geometry and you throw the inside piece out and what you have left is the square with the inside hollow portion the diameter of which is exactly 120. The next thing is milling center line. When you do milling center line, the bit centers itself over the geometry and starts milling like that. The last thing is milling washout. When you give washout, the bit will move multiple times at multiple directions and there will be nothing left inside. So it basically mills and washes out all the portion that is inside the circle. So here are the four tool offsets. In order to view the effects of the tool offset, there is an option in IPC as well as in iCut to understand how the end product would be after the tool offset is given. I'm using the same shape geometry that I used in the previous example. Now the first case, when I come here, I choose the option outside. I'm choosing the option outside for both the figures. Now when I click on show tool path preview, it will show me how the bit processes the job. Now watch out what happens when I change the circles tool offset from outside to inside. You can see the bit is rotating inside the geometry. Now what happens when I give center line? is the bit runs centered on the geometry and while I do wash out you can see all of the portion inside the circle gets washed out so briefly these are the options that are used in the milling setup thank you